Welcome earth-saving, soul-singing viewers to Veggie Elite on Supreme Master Television. I'm Angela from the golden cornfields of Illinois, USA, sending you infinite love and light to guide your daily life. Today we are pleased to feature a kind-hearted young artist who brings love, joy, and positive vibes to millions of people around the world. She also believes in choosing a life-saving, compassionate way of living and once declared on U.S. national television, I'm a vegan. I love all animals. For her staunch animal advocacy, a blog by the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, PETA, explored whether she is the veganest vegan to ever vegan. She is a Grammy-nominated singer, MTV Artist of the Year awardee, a twice-named member of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People, and appears on Forbes Magazine's Most Powerful Celebrities list. Quite remarkable for someone under the age of 25. Furthermore, her social media presence is among the most popular of celebrities with over 100 million followers, giving her plenty of opportunity to share her messages of love. Yes, we are talking about the one and only Miss Miley Cyrus. I hope to always make people smile and shine light through my work. I look forward to making music for the rest of my life. And I'm thankful every day for those who listen. I'm sending so much love and peace into the world right now, because that's what we need most. Love, love, and more love. Miley Cyrus, August 7th, 2017, on Instagram. Miley Cyrus was born with stars in her eyes. Her father, Billy Ray, is internationally known for his country songs. Her mother, Tish Cyrus, is an actress and film producer. And her godmother, Dolly Parton, is one of country music's most famous icons. It was on November 23, 1992, in Franklin, Tennessee, USA, that a beautiful baby arrived, named Destiny Hope Cyrus. The name Miley evolved from her nickname, Smiley, since even as a baby, she usually had a smile on her face. In Tennessee, Miley and her family spent much of their time on a 500-acre ranch where the youngster fell in love with riding and being with horses. The Cyruses moved to Toronto, Canada when Miley was eight, and it was shortly after moving north she began to pursue acting with the support and blessing of her family. With her father and godmother's influence, the bright, precocious little girl seemed like a natural to make it big. Her audition for a supporting actress role on the TV show Hannah Montana so impressed the producer Disney that Miley received the title role and casted Billy Ray as her on-screen dad. The immediate success of Hannah Montana put Miley on the map in 2006 as a child singer, dancer and actress with a magnetic charm and an engaging bright smile. After bringing home 17 Choice Awards for her efforts on the show, she released her signature song, The Climb, which charted top 10 internationally and appeared on the soundtrack for her successful 2009 film, Hannah Montana, The Movie. In fact, the movie reached number one at the U.S. box office in its very first week. Let's take a brief listen to The Climb. When we return, we are going to share with you how Miley has used songs to express her love to all the animals. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Veggie Elite here on Supreme Master Television. Miley's love of animals manifested on screen in her endearing 2010 film, The Last Song, where she played Ronnie Miller, a vegetarian character who has a memorable scene helping baby turtles make it to the sea. When the last TV episode of Hannah Montana concluded in 2011, Miley was determined to create a new beginning for herself by writing and recording her own music. As she grew up, Miley's freedom and originality became apparent to her fans through her songs. 
She released multiple platinum-selling albums, collaborating with a range of musicians across multiple genres, like Flaming Lips frontman Wayne Coyne, Black Eyed Peas frontman Will I Am, and rapper Wiz Khalifa. With her bright, trendy costumes, short bleached hair, and fresh new sound, people finally started to see Miley as herself, and not as Hannah Montana, resulting in her fame blossoming even more. In 2016, she landed a coveted spot on NBC's The Voice as a singing coach, and iconic U.S. filmmaker Woody Allen gave her a role in his first ever TV series. The Oscar-winning director had nothing but praise for Miley's acting, saying, She exceeded my finest expectations. She's 100% professional. I absolutely enjoyed working with her. Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken on multiple occasions of the important role artists play in our world, as in an October 21, 1989 lecture in Los Angeles, California, USA. Musician and artist are half saints. Musician and artist, they came from a very higher level of consciousness. They came down uh, because they have learned something from the higher level and they want to serve the world and beautify the world. People who are artists who love art, they are very gentle kind of um, personality. In tisti ljudje, ki imajo radi umetnost, so običajno zelo nežni in so prijazni. Yes. In India, they have a saying that uh, musician, artist, uh, poet, they are half saint. V Indiji nam reč pravijo, da je glasbenik, umetnik, uh, pesnik, napol svetnik. These noble uh, art, noble uh, expression of a higher dimension of life uh, also resemble a heaven in some degree. Miley's beauty deepened when she became a vegetarian in 2008. Discovering she is a lactose allergy sufferer, she eliminated dairy from her diet in 2012. After witnessing the dairy industry's cruelty in a PETA video, she felt even more strongly about her decision to quit dairy and a greater connection to animals as a whole, especially her animal companions. Unfortunately, in 2014, Miley's beloved dog Floyd passed away. This heart-wrenching experience gave Miley the fortitude to give up using all animal products. As she explained to Paper Magazine, she went vegan because she felt finally ready to be accountable, to be an example. Not until her lively interview on NBC's The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon in August 2015 did most fans become aware of her commitment to the animal-free lifestyle. On the show, she shared her love for her pig companion Bubba Sue and feeding her fruit. She also said her blowfish companion Pablo is highly intelligent because whenever Miley arrives home, he swims closer to greet her. Sadly. Pablo later passed away, causing Miley to get a small tattoo in memory of her beloved little fish friend. She also expressed her gratefulness to Pablo by writing an emotional tribute song that reveals a precious realization about an animal's right to freedom. I could do it again, I'd release you to see, cause I can't bear to see something so wild just die in a tank. The song is included on her 2015 album, Miley Cyrus and Her Dead Pets. Legendary musician Sir Elton John and Grammy Award winning singer John Mayer both praised the album for its originality. The two other songs on the album, The Floyd Song, Sunrise, and Twinkle Song were written in honor of her dog friend and her best friend's cat friend respectively, so clearly animals have a strong presence in Miley's life. Over the years, she has adopted a number of animals, including Barbie, a delightful and happy rescue beagle who once suffered as a laboratory test animal, but will now be loved for the rest of her life. In 2009, PETA awarded Miley the Compassionate Citizen Award for rescuing stray dogs and chickens. Instagram is Miley's main social media outlet, and she has one of the highest number of followers in the world, with 70 million. She loves posting about her animal companions, including dogs Happy, Milky, Mary Jane, 
Emu, Bean, Penny Lane, Barbie, and cats Kiki, Lilo, Shanti Om Bibi, and of course, Bubba Sue the pig. She also shares her fitness routine, letting her fans know she is a very committed Ashtanga yoga practitioner, posting videos and photos of herself doing headstands and sitting in the lotus position. Gotta do yoga not for my body, but for my mind, she writes. Caring Star also posts examples of her wholesome green smoothies and energetic vegan meals made from organic, vitamin-rich veggies. Each of Miley's food posts on Instagram garnered hundreds of thousands of likes and thousands of comments, making her one of the notable leaders of the vegan movement. She notes, so many good plants, fruits, veggies to eat. You ain't gotta eat dead animals. Everything that goes into my body is alive. To keep me alive, love this life. Her enthusiasm is as infectious as her songs, with many of her fans celebrating their own vegan lifestyle in the comments and begging the singer to keep spreading the message. Miley, you inspire so many young people, one fan declares. Please post more about veganism and animal rights. Someone like you has the power to change a lot, writes another. Ever the outgoing star, Miley even handed out her favorite fruit, avocados, to members of the media after the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards. Her animal activist work includes making anti-fur and hunting Instagram posts, seeking to ban horse-drawn carriages in New York City, USA, and protecting wolves in Canada. In 2015, she joined animal rights advocate and vegan model Pamela Anderson on stage to encourage the audience to go vegan and save the whales. For all of her efforts and good deeds, PETA crowned Miley sexiest vegetarian celebrity in 2015. Miley's dedication has also rubbed off on her younger sister, actress and singer Noah Cyrus, who made a PETA video advocating against animal dissection in schools, because I love animals so much. Everyone around Miley knows she has a solid gold heart. Her fiancé, Australian actor and vegan Liam Hemsworth said, She's a free spirit. I think she'll always surprise people with what she does. But she's not a malicious person in any way. She's a young girl who wants to do what she wants to do. What she wants to do is help people and animals. Some examples include donating half a million US dollars to AIDS research, turning her 20th birthday party into a dog rescue fundraiser, being a children's hospital with Liam, donating another half a million US dollars for Hurricane Harvey relief efforts, and creating her own charity, the Happy Hippie Foundation, to address youth homelessness and inequality. As she told Time Magazine, the truth is, it's never too early to get involved. Someday today's kids will be running for president. Now is our prep time. We need to get some practice in before we save the world. Here is her song, One Son, from the Dead Pets album. Miley Cyrus is leading the way for the new generation of millennials to be vegan, take care of our earth and animal co-inhabitants, and be happy and free. With over 100 million social media followers, she has an enormous ripple effect in the mainstream when spreading constructive messages about humanitarian, environmental, and animal rights. At such a young age, she is already an accomplished musician and actress plus a wonderful, healthy human being who is giving back and speaking on behalf of those who can't speak for themselves. She is, after all, just being smiley. Beneficent viewers, thank you for joining us on this episode of Veggie Elite, featuring superstar Miley Cyrus. Up next is words of wisdom. May divine love and melodies always uplift your days. details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ve.